When you think of microplastics, you probably think of those tiny bits of broken down material along the beaches or out in the ocean, like the massive Great Pacific Garbage Patch. But now new research shows much tinier fibers winding up in our waterways, including some of Oregon's most pristine lakes and rivers. And what we found was honestly pretty shocking. Celeste well, Mayfren Swango is the director of Environment Oregon. The group recently tested 30 rivers and lakes across Oregon for microplastics, tiny pieces of plastic smaller than a grain of rice. The most common are microfibers, which shed from clothing. The study found those fibers in each waterway tested. Uh, from the Willamette River through downtown Portland, um, and Crater Lake, Wallawa Lake, um, and even kind of the most remote places where we were looking. According to Environment Oregon, the impact of these microfibers is still unclear, but research does show the fibers do get consumed. Americans consume about a credit card's worth of plastic every single week through exposure to microplastics. In 2019, research off Oregon's coast found the fibers in oysters and clams. The Portland State University study found microplastics in about 99% of the 300 marine animals tested. It found about 11 microplastic pieces per oyster and about nine pieces per clam. And nearly all were from clothing fibers. When we launder our clothes, fibers come off, ending up in the wastewater and ultimately in our waterways. The PSU study found one load can result in as many as 700,000 microfilaments going down the drain. You can keep some of those fibers from getting into the wastewater by using filtering washing bags like these. Or you can buy a special microfiber filter for your washing machine. But the researchers say really the most important step is to limit the plastic produced in the first place. So we need to stop making so much plastic, making so much of our consumer products out of this material that never degrades. Um, we just have to find a better way to live. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.